Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Winjo.Skills, the place where we explore the latest and coolest in the world of electronics and technology. I'm your host Vinay Joshi and today we have something really exciting to dive about ESP32 chips C3 simulation with WOCV. Let's get started with the WOCV. Added open a, a WOCV portal, added a ESP32 chip with a potentiometer and a LED. I have added a resistor which is a 1 ohm and let's make a connection between these four items which is like red LED yep, connecting with the resistor and then start another point we are connecting with B10 which is like 10 pin then we'll add another LED point directly with the ground and then uh, we'll, uh, potentiometer has three points uh, VCC we have added with the uh, 5 volt ground will uh, SIG will connect with the uh, zero pin and ground will connect with the ground after added it let's run this uh, while adding some code which is uh, based on the potentiometer analog signal we are fading out and fading in the LED so we added uh, first we uh, will declare a pin sensor pin which is A0 zero number LED pin we have one uh, 10 pin pin number 10 We need to set the pin mode, which is sensor pin is an input pin, and another pin mode, which is LED pin, and which is our output pin. Then we'll use by this pin. We need to send the receive the analog signal and process the analog signal to the pin. So the sensor value analog dot read from uh, sensor pin which will be reading the analog sensor value let's calculate the brightness based on the sensor pin is divided by 4 so sensor pin fading in fading out will 0 to 255 so we are calculating by dividing it 4 uh, based on sensor pin sensor value and then sending the analog signal to write a LED pin width on the brightness so, and then we'll make a delay for 100 millisecond let's execute this program and let's see if it will run and compile it successfully by Wokfi. Yeah, it is successfully compiled. Let's know. Yeah, potential meter. Let's execute it. It is fading in, fading out based on the potential meter value. Based on the relay as well. We, we can see that it's glowing out and fading in based on the potential meter value. Now let's implement this over the uh, Arduino. I have connected the ESP32 chip and sent this program to uh, ESP32 T3 Zio. And I have made the connection based on the breadboard. So now we'll hit the potentiometer, and based on that, it will fading and glowing the pin as well. Yeah, that's it. Uh, we are seeing here the analog signal as well writing the output over the uh, console board so yeah yeah this is a pin based on potentiometer we are blinking fast or blinking slow based on the potentiometer you 
can see my breadboard connections as well and these are the analog signal we can read over the uh, uh, Adreno IDE thank you for watching my channel thank you please subscribe and share my videos so that we can you can see these kind of technology moving forward thank you